the SEC bringing the case against Ripple was not really just a case about Ripple or about XRP. It's really about the industry and how the SEC is kind of playing offense and attacking the whole industry. Two and a half years ago when this started, I'm not sure everyone fully digested that, and now that is widely understood. This is going to be pivotal for the whole industry because if the SEC is able to prevail, I think there's a lot of other cases, and some of them just in the last four weeks, I think they brought five additional enforcement cases. The macro headline for me is this is not a healthy way to regulate an industry. Your regulation through enforcement as opposed to where we're seeing in other countries where they're doing the work, right? They're codifying, they're creating a framework that allows an industry to grow while protecting consumers. And I think that's really what the U.S. is lagging. And to some degree why I'm here in Washington is to continue to try to evangelize and educate. You know, here's how these technologies can really benefit consumers, benefit industry. Is what I'm hearing from you essentially, if the U.S. doesn't get its act together and move more quickly, all of this is going offshore. The, it's just going elsewhere. Well, it already is. I mean, the, the sad reality is that the U.S. really is already behind. You know, this is not behind countries that we haven't necessarily heard of. This is behind Australia and behind the U.K., Japan, Singapore, Switzerland. There's a lot of countries that have taken the time and thoughtfulness to create that clear rules of the road. It, by contrast, when I first got involved in the tech industry in the late 90s, some were saying the Internet should be banned. They were saying, like, here's how the Internet is being used for illicit purposes. But the U.S. government said, no, 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 we're going to create a framework. And that allowed entrepreneurs, that allowed investors to come in and look at the benefits to the United States on a geopolitical basis mm. to have the Amazons and Googles based in headquarters in the United States. We're at, I think, severe risk of having that not happen in this next evolution of technology around blockchain and crypto. It has already started moving outside the United States. And also the consumers are suffering because of that, because you don't have the same protections that the U.S. regulatory frameworks can provide. What would a good framework look like in your view? Well, look, I, I think what you're seeing right now is the Securities and Exchange Commission. You know, mm -hmm. if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And uh, not everything here is a nail. And I, I think it has to, any framework has to start with clear protections for consumers, but then to thoughtfully understand that these aren't always going to be securities. Some of them are used as currencies. That is, you, having an efficient process to trade, exchange, move those things would be much harder in a world if they were regulated as securities.